Your healthcare needs are unique, and so is our offering. Fast, furious, and frightening. Extreme sports get your heart racing, your muscles pumping, and make the world sharp and bright. And it's all because of adrenaline, the fight or flight hormone that evolution designed to help us stay alive. Oh. Oh. <laughs> An adrenaline junkie. The kind of person that's addicted to that thrill of the adrenaline rush. Adrenaline surging through your system that ups your heart rate, gets your breathing faster and floods your system with those wonderful hormones called endorphins. And all that extra oxygen and energy and hormones is what gives you that adrenaline high. The question is though, is it good for you? So what are the physical effects of adrenaline? Oh. There's a, a fine line between a thrilling experience and a dangerous one. Where do you guys draw that line? So we draw the line um, in terms of making sure that we've, we've really checked out the activities that we're doing. Um, so the abseil you're going to do with us today, we've put in a safety line that we control, so we won't rely on someone like yourself, being a professional, uh, knowing what you're doing. And how do you dampen someone's adrenaline rush? You know, when you can see their eyes are going wide and they're panicking, how do you control that? So if we have someone that's having a particularly bad or particularly panicking. We found that us being calm and patient allows for them to calm down, sort of buy into to us and the confidence that comes with experience. Well, thanks, Pete. I'm busy feeding off your confidence. Let's do this thing. Oh, okay. It was close. Dry mouth? What does dry mouth do? First things first. Next thing. So standing on the edge of Table Mountain, I can feel that adrenaline rush starting to kick in. Um, a little bit giddy in the head, sort of a bit, a bit wheezy, which is great. It's actually a lovely feeling and I can feel a pulse in my throat. But what I'm testing here is my blood pressure and my pulse. I checked my blood pressure this morning, which was fine. I'll show that to you now. But let's just see what this surge of adrenaline is actually doing to my system. 190 over 110. That is extremely high. So we're going to measure that again and see how long it takes to get back down to normal uh, once we get to the bottom, if we get to the bottom. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. The body produces adrenaline when you're in danger or feel threatened. It increases your heart rate, your breathing, boosts glucose levels and raises your blood pressure. Your senses are heightened, pain disappears and you get a huge energy boost as sugars are released directly into your bloodstream. Alright, what follows next is the most thrilling part of this episode. Up to now we've been against the rock face, but now we jump out and swing under an overhang 60 meters above the ground. This is serious adrenaline rush. Hold your breath, and I'm holding mine. <laughs> Here goes, three, two, one. Hoo -ah. Oh, yes man, woo, ha ha. Oh, lovely. I see at the bottom. <laughs> Some people can get addicted to the adrenaline rush and start deliberately finding ways to keep stressed and keep that high. Man, that was 116 meters of pure pleasure. Awesome. Oh, and if I'll be able to stand, I feel like I've got wobbly knees. <laughs> Thank you for the safe episode, man. Awesome. Nice one, man. Yeah. Cool. Love it. There's something nice about having your feet on terra firma. Got to tell you that, man. So it feels a little bit safer being anchored to the earth. There is a dramatic rise of adrenaline in the body when a person feels scared or threatened, and it decreases just as quickly after the danger is over. The fast decrease in adrenaline is known as the adrenaline crash and can make people feel anxious or even depressed. Okay. So blood pressure is normal at last, about half an hour after that last little uh, adrenaline stunt. Imagine a whole day of stress and what that does to your body, crazy. Can't think about that now though, because I've got a plane to catch <laughs> and jump out of. Adrenaline junkies get addicted to the powerful energy rush and the high is like the rush you can get from drugs like cocaine or speed. It's a legal high that can be hard to quit. Michael. Hi, Mike. It's been ages, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, 15 years ago, a little more than 15, I did my first jump out of an aeroplane and I did it with long Pete. Can you believe it, huh? Pete, how many jumps have you done now? I'm approaching 9,000 jumps now. And what do you do in your 10,000th jump? That's a top secret. 
<laughs> so as a skydiver, where do you draw the line between the thrill and the adrenaline rush and an overly dangerous pastime? I don't think any of us do it for the danger of it. We do it for the excitement. We enjoy what we do. There is an element of danger involved, and I suppose that gives you part of the adrenaline rush. And do you find it really does become an addiction, this need for adrenaline? The whole lifestyle is an addiction, I would say. You know, most of the people who end up staying a long time immerse themselves in the lifestyle. So the skydiving is definitely the major part of it, but all the rest of them add into the whole experience. How do people often respond when the door of the plane opens and that wind rushes in? Yeah, usually it's silence, uh, the big step, but every now and again you get the vocal taps. But our tandem masters are like priests, it's all confidential. <laughs> okay. Adrenaline is supposed to help us get out of dangerous situations, but too much adrenaline in your body for too long becomes a danger in itself. Overexposure to stress hormones affects the whole body and increases digestive problems, damages the immune system, puts strain on your heart, impairs mental processes and sleep patterns, and leads to weight gain. So before you make it a habit of getting high from adrenaline whenever you can, you might want to get your rush from knowing that keeping it balanced will be better for your health in the long term. Perfect landing, perfect landing, look at this. Excellent work. Well done. Excellent work. Rob, that was amazing, man. Just well done. unbelievable. Good job, you made my job very easy. <laughs> that is a lot of adrenaline for one day. Too much of a good thing? You see, adrenaline brings action and energy to life, but we weren't designed to have it coursing through our veins 24-7, and that's exactly what happens to adrenaline addicts, whether they're jumping out of planes or burning the midnight oil. So take your adrenaline in bite-sized doses. Then it's safe and good for you. Being active has never been more rewarding.